Hello everybody, I'm back with another requested reading and this time we're gonna come back to Marjorie Taylor Greene and ask directly if she will be re-elected for uh, Congress. So his, uh, her seat is up for election in this uh, November because her term will end in January 2025. So, from the previous reading, we've seen that there's something unpleasant for her in the future. Uh, but now let's ask if it's connected to the re-election to her seat in the Senate. Okay, but before this, I gotta tell you guys. <laughs> Here in Romania, we also have our own version of Marjorie Taylor Greene. Or more like... A combination be between her and Trump. So you're not alone in your suffering from all this clownery. You should see ours. Oh my god. Here's a picture of her. She was protesting wearing masks sometimes in 2020. <laughs> she looks like Hannibal Lecter. And now she's going to the European Parliament to embarrass us in front of the whole world. It wasn't enough, all the clownery show at home. Lord help us. <laughs> so here in inside Romania, she didn't get enough votes to uh, have a seat in the European Parliament. But the diaspora, the Romanians outside that are working in the West decided it's great to vote for her and she's a far-right um, anti-West so I don't know make sense of this like these people take advantage of the West they live in the West and they vote against the West like it, it's mentally deranged people I don't understand them and another thing that annoys me about this, these people, the likes of Taylor Green and our own, her name is Shoshwako, um, is that they overuse, you know, the, the flag and symbols of our country, of our countries. And in a way, it feels like they're desecrating the flag they're, because that that's not patriotic, being Russia's mouthpiece spreading Russian propaganda and everything that you're doing is actually against the your own country. So in a way, to me, it feels like they're desecrating our symbols. Uh, yeah, and it's, it's kind of like they to take over the flag, they confiscate it. And then you get a, I don't know, you associate your flag with their deranged behavior. So yeah, that pisses me off. Anyway, so let's see about Marjorie Taylor Greene. How does it look like for her when it comes to the elections in November? What can she expect? Will she be reelected? Or what? In her district in Georgia, I think. Okay. Put this here. Okay. So these are her cards. Three of Wands, Expansion, Two of Swords. Um. Uh, Although there are there is some difficulties here, like she'll have to make some choices or but it doesn't look that bad. Let's see from the outside. Perhaps no, whoever's running against her, they're losing. Death guard. Because this is the out external energies. So it could be like other people. I don't know, it could be a man or something or so oops. Um yeah, sadly, this looks more promising for her. 
she's um, possibly in, in her district she has enough support and this is like like moving on there is a bit of there is something there is some I don't know this is a choice she has to make feels like a bit stuck the energy but it's not gonna be too much of a problem for her with this energies here And for the other part here, it clearly indicates like a loss with the tower and the death card. That's it. So maybe that um, trouble that she'll have later may not be about the re-election. Might be about something else. Let's let's ask the card. What is that about? Because in the previous reading, in the previous video. She got a bunch of fives and it didn't look that great. What will that be about? Marjorie Taylor Green. Okay. Oops. Okay, this is ooh. Yeah, it, it, this is a confirmation. This was the first, this five of cups, and then she also got a five of pentacles. And now again, we see the five of cups. Mm. With the justice, let's see, what could this be about? Let's see from the outside. I think it's a, a problem with, the Republican Party. Because I'm, I'm seeing this like a collective. And it's them. So she may not see eye to eye. It looks like the others will have some sort of victory here with the Six of Wands. Her opponents or something like this. This is another woman. And the Republican Party. So it looks like maybe within the Republican Party, there will be some issues, some trouble for her. So because this came again, it's a confirmation. It's a tough time ahead for her. I related because we got this car. I related with the rest of the Republicans. Um, in her battle within the party, it looks like she will lose. The other ones will gain something. So it's more likely about this, about the an infight, infight inside the party. But the justice, it could be maybe she doesn't get the support that she needs for certain things. Yeah, so the, she, there will be trouble for her in the future. But not about the re-election. Possible something within the party. Because I'm seeing the collective here. And particularly a woman. Um, yeah, so this is what I can get about Marjorie Taylor Greene. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support. I appreciate all of you. I will post another video today a few hours later. Uh, I'm going to see about what I choose for that topic. Maybe I'll do the um, Putin and uh, <laughs> Kim Jong-un meeting. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so thank you for your support and I will see you guys later. Take care.